many of you are exploring coaching and you know that a purpose of coaching is to assist people to focus. So we live in a world full of distractions and with coaching, we begin to focus on what's important to us. What is our purpose? Now, a game does exactly that. To make it a world game is the piece that we're adding on. See, the mosquito netting example is one small piece. Uh, one person saying, I'm gonna make a difference to this culture this way. We're saying, yes, create those games and put them in a context called the world game so that more people create legacy games where that becomes a movement, where that becomes something that everybody wants to do, like the World Cup. You know, it's one thing to create the World Cup. Well, how about the World Cup of developing our planet together in small ways and medium ways and big ways by holding the context of the larger. So this is going to be the first Erickson conference. It's of course a coaching conference. We're about coaching and it's also about the world game. The world game is what makes, it's one of the legs on which Erickson coaching stands. It's about legacy and happiness. It's about human beings all over the planet being able to be inspired by their own lives. And so the World Game Conference is upon us. We're fundamentally empowering coaches to become masters. Now, I said to some of you who came to this meeting, how can this affect me? How can this allow me to make more money? First of all, if you focus on a great game, maybe it's your own personal coaching game, maybe it's uh, or pardon me, your own personal business game, or maybe it's a coaching game. And you design some way to keep your focus on a purpose that includes world development in some way, something that you're giving to the world, giving as a legacy to the next generation. Then what tends to happen is mastery. See, that keeps you focused past the hurdles, past the negativity, past the place where you, you would stop and say, good enough, thank you very much. And you tend to get sleepy. This would awaken you. This would keep you uh, engaging with others in such a way that you become a masterful coach. And as soon as you're a masterful coach, guess what? The world comes walking to your door. The world comes and knocks on your door big time. But 3% is a very doable number for coaches to make coaching happen in the world. Coaching is on the rise. If we put a little attention on even our own brand and expanding mastery in coaching, through our focus on excellence, our focus on vision in our communities, our focus on talking to people about what they can create, our focus on getting people beyond those gremlins, fear of dreaming, fear of failure, uh, fear of disturbing people. It's, th these are the things that stop us in life. And as coaches, we can assist lots of people to move beyond them. Now, if we're just working by ourselves, we don't notice the 3%. If we work together as a community, we can keep each other inspired about that 3%. We can notice how coaching is growing. We can notice how our coaching creates a certain number of connections and those connections create more. And that starts to create the avalanche. That starts to create the 3% and we change the world in five years or eight years, not 20 years, so that there is a lot more interest in connectivity, a lot more interest in, call it kindness, call it um, uh, the touch of being human that we all share with each other 
when we reach across. And that shifts everything really fast. It's not just a little private moment. It's all of us shifting. And everyone knows it. The quantum experience is here.